will take your inquiry as quickly as possible. This is a phone call I received almost five and a half minutes ago uh, from supposedly Duke Energy telling me that they're getting ready to shut my power off. I like how they leave you hanging. I like how it's become my inquiry, even though I didn't call them, they called me. I know it's bullshit, but I'm going to play the game. This is probably, I don't know, somewhere between 10 and 15 calls I've received saying that they're going to shut my power off in the next 30 to 45 minutes. They must be really busy turning off people's power or wasting people's time, leading them to believe that their power is going to be shut off. And they're probably getting valuable information from uh, customers that they shouldn't be getting at all because people fall for it. This is probably a strategy for them uh, to leave me on hold for a long time because I guess they assume the longer that I stay on uh, waiting to speak to them, the more concerned I am about like my power being turned off. It isn't always possible. Please hold and your call will be taken shortly. We would like to take this opportunity to thank our customers for your support during the year. We'd like to thank you for your support during the year. I guess a new message comes out next year to thank everybody for the next year. Thank you for calling. We will take your inquiry as quickly as possible. Thank you for your call and your business. Assistance is just a moment away. This is probably the 10th or 15th time that this message has been played. Another part of this scam is they always try to use local numbers. Thank you so much. Thank you for holding and thank you for reaching to Energy Building Department. My name is Alex. How may I assist you today? You guys called me. I'm trying to figure out why my power is going to be shut off. You called me. Do you have my information? Because you called me. I would assume that if you're calling me from Duke Energy, that you have my name and my information. Of course. Of course. Um, what happens, sir, is that this is the disconnection billing department you reach. Uh-huh. Um, I have some information here, but I don't know if I'm speaking to the owner or not. Is your last name? Yes, it is. Okay. Can you please confirm your address, please? Uh, can you confirm my address since you called me? I just confirmed something. Like I said, I didn't call you. Yeah, you can look up on the internet. I received calls, sir. Sir, I received the call, so stop saying that I called you. I didn't call you. You called me. I know. I don't. But the thing is that you could have been transferred to me. I didn't call okay. you. That's what you need to know. Okay, that's not relevant. You can go ahead and try to make an argument about it, but that's not relevant. Well, I'm not making an argument. This is a statement. I didn't call you. Okay, so... Uh, I received the call, so you was transferred to me. Okay, so I was transferred to you. Now let's get on. What? Why are you shutting my power right. off? That's exactly what I'm trying to find out. And you're making it wrong me. I'm making it what? Please confirm the address. No. G can you just go ahead and shut my power off? I can't. I don't have the power to shut your power off. That's what the phone call started with, I is that you guys were going to shut... But we're trying to find out... Do you represent Duke Energy? You're a sorry-ass... 